Hi everybody, it's Arsene White. Today I've thought about showing my expert tips that I've been using to get advantage and always win in base and RNG. I've been improving for two weeks and I guarantee you guys that these are the possibly best tips that I can expose. Let's just get straight into the video. Oh shit. Alright guys, let's start off with the weapon wheel. So for the mill weapons hide everything but have the regular knife for trolling and stuff like that. Pistols hide everything except of the first pistol so if you press on the take the easy way out it's gonna do it with the pistol instead of the medicine. And keep the heavy revolver for its glitch I'll show you the guide in the soon on the video. Machine guns only combat MG and rifles hide all. Shotguns hide everything except of the musket and the explosive shotgun. The musket is a big secret, we will talk about it soon. Sniper rifles only keep the heavy sniper mark 2 and heavy weapons only keep the RPG, homing launcher and the grenade launcher, that's it. Explosives keep only the sticky bomb and if you wanna go full tryhard at base, get a proximity mine too. I did. Now the upgrades, this is very important for 1v1s, so before 1v1ing know your opponent's internet style, basically does it one shot or two shot with the heavy sniper. So you have to know everything about the, his internet before you 1v1 because it's very important if it's gonna one shot or two shot, bay leg switches. So if the guy is on the east side and you're on the west side, you're gonna lag really bad. Alright, so if your opponent is living far, set the two main guns at base with these magazines. It's the heavy sniper and the combat MG. Combat MG put the flaming bullets. Heavy sniper put explosive ammo. It's just gonna one shot. And for the people who live close to your country and have good internet, it's gonna take two shots to kill them with the heavy sniper. So get incendiary rounds on the sniper. Alright, good internet and we got incendiary rounds. And as you guys can see, the player actually dies. And for the combat MG, armor piercing rounds, so once you shoot them on the head, they will die straight away. Alright, the musket is actually the most deadly weapon at base, because it has almost got the same range of the rifle, the lock-on can be set twice further than the explosive shotgun, and it will one shot one kill if your opponent is living in a far country compared to yours or has a bad internet. Before we get into kegs, which are the spawn kills, let me show you how OP can the revolver glitch be at base. So if you see your opponents taking the easy route way too many times because they can't play base way too good, all what you have to do is just get the revolver with the incendiary rounds because it's the best for killing players, it's the flaming rounds. And just aim and go to unarmed every time you shoot, it's the fastest way to get your drain your ammo so you can do the revolver glitch. So once you go to, to ammo, all what you have to do is just the revolver glitch. All what you have to do is just aim and press R3 and you're gonna zoom and you can get them free aim or if they spawn close to you, you can just kill them real fast. And for the final base tip I got Kex explained. Kex are pretty simple to predict. You have to measure the player's death place and predict by putting his next spawn on its opposite spot he died and make sure the one who Kex doesn't look at the spawn until the last two seconds so the one who does get kicked appears there here are many examples no. Alright, now I'm gonna show you guys some of my best RNG tricks that many people don't use. So even if you are a very good RNG player, I can guarantee 100% that you're gonna find out some new tricks from the tips I'm gonna show right now. So since RNG isn't the best place to practice actual 1v1s and gain professional skills, 
I just have to include face-to-face -to -face tips too. They are in the map called Gangbang and are known as FTF matches, best for 1v1s. Though the tips of FTF can also be used in RNG too. So let's just jump into it. RNG or FTF, it doesn't matter. The best gun at it is the rifle called Special Carbine. And you have to have Mark II just in case because we're gonna be using the custom muzzle called the Fat End Muzzle Brake in FTF. So in RNG, the best rifle is the Special Carbine Mark II with the suppressor so your opponents won't know your place. And in FTF you need the fat end muzzle brake which is a custom muzzle because it also increases the accuracy yeah guys I've been doing the tests for hours and hours straight and after all that I've noticed that custom brakes actually increase the accuracy so yes you're gonna be getting more advantage in FTF as you just need accuracy but in RNG oh, it's hiding so you better get suppressor so they won't hear you but accuracy, custom muzzle brakes. Alright, let's start off with the RNG tips. You don't always have to get out of the corner and shoot. If you're in a situation that you can't run to the corner, just spam the aim and act fast to kill the one who's gonna come out from the corner and is gonna be shooting you. Also, make sure you're leaning to this corner to make his aim not work as fast as it used to. Alright guys, and here we got the cool stuff, the FTF matches. I'm gonna expose many tips about this. In here it takes a lot of skills, cause you have to change your techniques in every after kill and death. But yes, I'm gonna be showing pistol tips because it's always in the gangbang, it's always pistols. But if you wanna do rifles, the best tip we've already got is the muzzle brake. Make sure you haven't got suppressor. And every time you spawn, just try to do headshots. And pretty much, if you roll first, just sidestep and just shoot him back. But here we got in game death super tips. Alright, the first tip, how to start the gangbang. My tip is to do 360 to left and the next one that you're gonna be doing is just go left and shoot him. If he rolls, just like in the clip, just roll and shoot him back. Try to catch the sidestep while aiming right. From your side, you have to aim right because on his side, he's running to left. So just aim right and try to catch his head while he's sidestepping. And also just look at the video clip, it's live gaming tips. Second tip is very important to understand. After the kill just take a breath and look at the minimap on your character. Look at your mouse on the map. If it gets covered fully red on the sides, that's when you know your opponent is about to spawn. In gangbang it's easy, I know, that's how you know. So you can decide your plan by that time. You either roll right when it gets covered red, it means that the opponent is about to spawn and seize you, or you can just repeat what I do in the clip. It's a good strategy, just roll when you see the mouse is red and try to get him a quick headshot. If you fail, just do side steps. And for the last tip, it's the fast run sidestep trick and the 360 fast run too. You can also use these tricks to basically confuse your opponent as they have never seen this type of movement. So they won't catch you with on the headshot whilst you're doing these tricks. And if you don't know how to do it, I already made a big video about it, tutorial. So if you haven't watched it, the card of the video is gonna pop up anytime by now. Uh, so it includes all the side steps and mainly the rare ones that I found out. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. I know I haven't been uploading for a while, but this video legit took 50 hours to edit, not even joking. 
I hope it was really enjoyable to watch and very useful for training your skills. I'm also trying my best to keep my videos as quality as possible during these exams. You guys will really make my day by just giving a like on a video and also commenting and sharing your opinion about the video. I would be really glad to see and reply. As again, thanks for watching everyone, good luck to the people who are in exams too and have a great day guys, bye.